Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our February 2023 market update. We are here in sunny St. Albans on the 10th of February. Uh, myself and uh, John Sullivan, who is our sales manager here in Victoria Street. Um, lots to talk about today. Yeah, um, so it was a really, really busy end to January. Uh, February started in the same vein. Lots going on, lots of positive things going on in the marketplace. John, your initial impressions of February in one sentence? Uh, busy <laughs> is what I would say. Um, I think um, we've had, uh, as you as you rightly said, we had a, a good end to January, and uh, and February started very much in the, in, in the same way. Um, I think I think the main thing I'll take out of it is um, applicant registration is very very similar levels to this time last year, which uh, I think I think was surprised quite a few people. Um, but uh, yeah, generally very busy. Yeah, agreed. So applicant registration year on year, um, a little bit up, I believe, looking at our, our statistics. Could be for a few reasons, but, you know, absolute positive. You know, it says a lot to our vendors uh, with regards to what's going on in the marketplace, lots of interest. Um, average price achieved, John, this is an interesting one because we've, uh, we've had some offers over. We've had some sealed bids. We've had all sorts of bids. <laughs> but um, so far this year, 97% of asking prices achieved or 97% of asking price achieved. It's pretty impressive, isn't it, for a, a market that doesn't know what it's doing? It really is. I mean, uh, if you look at the last quarter, um, sort of coming up to, to Christmas in 2022, um, offers were coming in, uh, you know, quite a lot lower than, than asking prices. And, and we didn't know really how that would resonate into, uh, in, into January and February. Um, but uh, I've got to say, yeah, I mean, those statistics are amazing. 97% of, of asking price um yeah, pretty pretty good. Yeah, uh, I think uh, you know, looking at the sort of homes that were sold uh, and look at the sort of homes we're selling, it's been a wide mix as well. So uh, you know, really really impressive start to the year. But you know, we couldn't be happier with really with how it started. Uh, one of the things that I think we wanted to talk about, uh, talk about today is just some of the odd questions we've been asked as, as an agent that's been dealing with EPCs since the days of hips and so on. <laughs> no one's ever phoned up and said before we start the conversation, can you let me know what the EPC rating is? and explain a little bit to me. So we've all had to become a little bit more of an expert about this. And I think a lot of that's due to, uh, you know, the, the, the cost of living crisis that's been going on around us or is continuing to go on around us. But um, one of the points I think we, we wanted to touch on today is that consumers are very, very cautious and very, very conscious of what they're spending each month, not just on their mortgages. Uh, and we can all, you know, talk about that forever, but also the cost of living, you know, gas prices, energy prices has become a huge point. So we've had lots of conversations with people looking for more modern style homes, new homes, new builds. Um, but, you know, everyone's becoming an expert on an EPC. Have you, have you found that yourself, John? Yeah, it is interesting, isn't it? Um, I think you've, you've hit the nail on the head. I mean, in all my time since HIPs and, and EPCs have been uh, been available, um, we, we've, we've never really been asked the question. Uh, but since since the energy crisis, you know, obviously cost of living has increased significantly and um, and people are really... Yeah, they're, they're definitely thinking more about what they're, you know, what they're buying. And um, I mean, certainly from what we've seen, well, in the last couple of months, uh, new builds, you know, properties with high, um, you know, high EPC ratings um, have, have proven really popular. Um, so, yes, we, we have definitely seen uh, an impact to that. And uh, I think the properties that have, um, you know, have, have really sort of low EPCs, people are asking, well, you know, how can we improve them? You know, uh, you know and, and there are there are a number of things you can do to, to bring bring the ratings up. But, but of course, um, there'll be significant investment into properties to, uh, to, to bring those ratings up to, uh, you know, to, to sort of standard. Yeah, so it's, it's just, I think, you know, the demand for other style homes, you know, your Victorian Terrace, your beautiful character theme it just hasn't gone away but it's just interesting to to share with everybody really that it is becoming um you know it is becoming a more relevant point every day uh, i think you know looking at the rest of february we've got some really entertaining and interesting stock coming to market that i think uh, will, will be sold and sold very very well from detached houses to fascinating cottages to you know lovely little places in and around the conservation area so i think we'll see a busy february um backed up by you know uh just by a demand which doesn't seem to be easing. Uh, would you sure share that consensus, John? Um, yeah. I would. Um, I mean, look, applicant registration is still really strong and uh, viewing levels are, are high. Um, I mean, people are probably taking a bit longer to make decisions than, than what they were this time last year. I think that's, that's fair to say. Um, but for, for the right properties, um, yeah, I mean, look, absolutely. I mean, if, if we look at you know one of the ones that we've had, uh, one of the properties we've had this week, um, 
yeah, within a, within literally a couple of days of marketing, four offers have come in. Um, and funny enough, that does that was actually a new build. Uh, so yeah, it's yeah. Uh, it's quite it's quite interesting, sort of seeing um, you know seeing what's coming in and uh, uh, and what what customers are looking to you know looking to buy. Yeah. So that's pretty much it from us for February. Uh, we'll update you on how February finished in the March market update, which will be spring. Spring has sprung. We'll see some <laughs> ducks, some chickens, some Easter eggs, uh, and hopefully we can go outside about, you know, wanting to run inside quickly. Um, so thank you very, very much, John. I look forward to seeing you in a few weeks. Thank you.